One of our membership offerings for PPMA members is access to our talent programmes. So the Apprentice of the Year programme, the One to Watch programme and our HR Rising Star programme are all free for you to enter. You will have brilliant, talented individuals in your organisations and I want you to put them forward so that we can welcome them, encourage them, enable them to thrive beyond their wildest dreams. The opportunities that they gain from participating in the event are tremendous. They'll make connections, new friends, build up their network and perhaps just come back and exceed their wildest dreams. To be a winner, I'm feeling very proud. Um, I've worked hard and I'm so glad that um, I, I can see that the achievement that I've, that I've done now to, to be crowned Rising Star 2019, um, it's made me a lot more confident. It was a big shock to be named the winner, but it really did boost my confidence and I went back to the workplace with so much more confidence in my ability um, and just kind of stood a bit taller kind of and, um, when I went back so yeah it was, it was fantastic. To win was very overwhelming, very surprising but it's been amazing. I've had such a great response from everyone at work and I think it's going to lead to some great things. I'm so happy to have won the award. I'm I never thought I'd be able to do something like this and when I was announced as, as the winner I just felt the sense of joy and it was just absolutely fantastic. So I'd like to make HR more approachable, um, spread the word that we're, our doors are always open. Um, if there are any problems, come to see me. I, I think that's quite, quite achievable um, in the future. So in terms of what I want to achieve over the next year, it's really to um, achieve the development plan that's been put in place with my manager to just kind of take me up to the next next level I suppose and the confidence that the programme gave me will really really help with that. Well what I've already got out of this year I've been offered a new job at the end of my apprenticeship in the team that I'm already working for. I think this next year is going to be interesting for me I'm going to come to the end of my apprenticeship and so hopefully various opportunities will be open for me. I personally would like to stay in the department that I'm currently working in. Public health has been an amazing opportunity. The team is wonderful and there's just so much to explore in that area. So in the next year I want to be in a, a full-time position within the same team, hopefully. My legacy is to find perfect work-life balance. Um, I've been through quite a lot and we all know how um, hard work can be, the long hours. Um, I just think that everyone should take a step back, look at their life, are they doing too much? And if they are, they need to do something about it. Uh, you can't wait for people to realise it. You can't wait for your managers. It's actually got to come from you. You've got to make the change. And I think if you make that change, you can achieve that perfect work-life balance. My legacy statement was all about being kind of an introverted person quite naturally, but how I like to try and push myself out of my comfort zone to um, do different things and that's when I feel I perform at my best and I have the best kind of influence on other people around me. Um, so that, that was my legacy really. I've not really got any big ambitions or things that I want to achieve in my career necessarily. I just want to have that positive influence on people and keep pushing myself to achieve my best and, and see what, what comes my way and I think the, the programme's really given me the confidence to, to be able to do that. My legacy was that I want to carry out fundraising for Parkinson's disease. It's something that has affected my family quite greatly and something I want to raise funds for and campaign for and just help improve the lives of not only the people I know but anyone who's suffering from the disease. Making a difference mainly for those with autism and to educating council staff about autism. Anyone that's thinking of taking part in, in this programme next year, do it. Just do it. Get out of your comfort zone. You write your, your legacy, your statement, and you send it off. Uh, it's so worth it. Two whole days with amazing people, coaches, mentors. My life has changed, and it will definitely change other people's.
I think to anyone that's thinking about taking part in the programme in future years, I'd really encourage them to do so, particularly to, to you know, team managers, HR managers, if you've got someone within your service that you think has got real potential um, and could be a, a future star, then you know, put them forward, let them come out of their shell, let them show their skills, let them develop themselves, because um, it's a fantastic opportunity. You get to meet um, brilliant people from across the sector, um, you get to do some fantastic coaching um, exercises, learn how to develop your presentation skills. It's such an amazing opportunity and there's so much more that can follow on from it, so definitely encourage anyone to apply. To anyone who's even thinking about doing the programme or to perhaps managers who think they've got a member of the team that'd be good for it, i just say go for it. Even completing the application form was challenging for myself. It was a lot of self-focus, self-reflection, even if I hadn't been shortlisted, that would have been enough for me to grow and develop into the future. But to make it to the shortlisting and to receive the, the tips and advice from the coaches and the judges has just made such the world of difference, mainly to my confidence. And to everyone in the room, they were so friendly, so supportive. It's a wonderful environment and you can take so much away from it even if you don't win. It's just an amazing opportunity, so go for it.